live. This is the book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. That's right. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So we gotta repent, that our sins may be converted, man. That means sins may be blotted out. Because it's a time of refreshing right now, man. To be renewed through the law, statute, and commandment. Give me, give me Psalm 13 and 7. That's right. The law converts the soul. That's that description, man. This is what's gonna renew you, man. How do you got to the uh, uh, nation get order? Through its laws, through its rules, shit, man. How do you get civilized? How do you make one uncivilized, man? An uncivilized person civilized. Through their laws, through their structure, man. Go ahead. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. Uh-huh. The law of the Lord is perfect. So the Torah is perfect, man. Converting the soul. Converting the soul, man. It's going to change you, man. The brother said he honors his mother and his parents now, man. He stopped killing his people. He stopped selling drugs, man. That's what it's about, man. He started to show love to his people. We start to sacrifice for a little more. We give to the poor, etc., etc. We watch out for each other, man. Is that it or not? The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise... The simple. Now we're made wise. Through our little connection, the correction of the most time, man. Proverbs 13, 13, Ken. So we have to fear the most time, man. Because the fear of the most high is the beginning of wisdom. That's right. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 13, verse 13. Uh -huh. Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed. So who shall ever despise the word shall be destroyed. Go ahead. For he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. So we're feared the commandment, so we're going to be rewarded, man. And that reward is the kingdom, man. Because the kingdom is only for Israel. Give me Acts 1 and 6, man. That's right. Acts 1 and 6. How you doing, brother? What's your nationality, man? You like Aisha? Yeah, you're for a tribe of Levi here, a priest. You know that? Yeah. To 1-6? Yeah, 1-6. Okay. This is the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 6. Bring it out. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, uh -huh. saying, Scoot up so you can get the sound. Uh -huh. Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? So the kingdom is gonna be restored to Israel, man. Not everybody, man. It's gonna be under our, under our, our rulership, man. That's right. Under our order, which is the Torah, man. And you're gonna be under Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who you eagerly call Jesus Christ. Who is a black man? Give me Revelation 1 and 14. Man. That's right. Start at 13. You know where to start at, man. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 13. Uh huh. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. So his head, his hair is white, and his texture is woolly. Who has woolly hair in America? The so-called Negro. That's right. Go ahead. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Because he took a lot of wine. Go ahead. And his feet like unto fine grass, as if they burned in a furnace. So you put anything in a fire, it turns black, a dark brown. And, and his cool. voice as the sound of many waters. Read that again. And his feet like unto fine grass, as if they burn in a furnace. Bring that out, man. And his voice as the sound of many waters. And his voice as 
the sound of many waters, man. So he was a loud speaker. That's why we were all loud, man. That's why we're crying loud right now and tell our people to repent, man. Because we understand that judgment that's coming to America, man. That's right. And we don't want you to be caught out. And you tell me that's not true love? The shit that we like, ah, oh, nah, you ain't helping us. How we help you? We think you repentance. That's the after scripture, man. There ain't no other gift than that, man. No other greater gift, man. The scripture says the angels and and, and Yahweh were drawing into the heavens when someone repents, man. That's right. Damn, my voice is going out, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's all good. My going out. So, let me, uh, like I was saying, give me something to tell one in five. You gotta understand, black is beautiful. That's in the Bible. Yep. The prophet is black. The apostle is black. Jesus Christ is a black man. Con. Hey, Zeus is negro. <laughs> That's right. Go ahead. I'm gonna show you. This is the book of Song of Solomon, chapter one, verse five. I am black, but comely. So Solomon just said he's black and beautiful. This is where the quote come from. He's black and comely. Go ahead. All ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. God, I just got his own curtains. He's the same color as his own curtains, man. And Kedar is the one the son of Ishmael. And the word Kedar in the Hebrew means dark skin. Come. So abortion is self-hatred, man. And abortion is not according to them. It's not of God's will, man. Abortion is, abortion is murder, man. And you will be penalized for it. Remember what I got you told you earlier? Exodus 21, man. Exodus 21 and 22, man. Because if you kill an innocent baby, that's a life. A life for a life. That's the prescription, man. Bring it out. So 21, 22? God. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 21, verse 22. Bring that if out. men strive and hurt a woman with child, uh -huh. so that her fruit depart from her, and yet no mischief follow, he shall be surely punished. So you're gonna be punished for hurting a child according to the will of that, of that, that woman's husband, man. Go ahead. According as the woman's husband will lay upon him, and he shall pay as the judges determine. And if any mischief follow, then thou shalt give life for life. So if this was intentional now, an intentional murder, it's life for life. Who told you, who gave you the right to kill innocent babies, man? Abortion is the number one killer in our community, man. And you don't give a damn. I'm sad, man. I'm sad. Read that article I told you. Man. Read that article, man. Now I'm about to get an article just to see the percentage of, of Israelite baby that's killed, man. How you doing, sister? Are you Haitian? Yeah. So you know you're in front of Tribal Blue Rock, you heard about your Hebrew flight. You ever heard of your Hebrew flight? Uh, yeah, I heard about it, but I'm not one. You're not one? Well, you are whether you like it, like, like, so basically, we teach nationality, so you are whether you, you, you like accept it or not. So you, have you heard, you, you believe in slavery, basically? Yeah. The so slavery is in the Bible, you know that? <laughs> okay, so why do you want to accept it? No, 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 I'm asking you, like, so why do you, you need know, you know, to accept it? Yeah, I, why do you accept it? You guys are Israelite. Yeah. I'm Christian. Yeah. Okay, Christian is religion, I'm telling you, nationality. It's a, it's a difference. Religion is basically, you know, something that's taught. Nationality is what you already are, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So we're saying we're Hebrew Israelites, and we're saying this is our nationality identity. So basically, you just going to try to believe it. Give me a Christian and real quick. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 49, 
verse 5. Simeon and Levi are brethren. Instruments of cruelty are in their habitations. O my soul, come not thou into their secret. Okay, so Simeon and Levi are brethren. So why did they mention them in the same verse, in the same chapter? Because they're on the same island. The tribe of Simeon being the Dominican is the tribe of Levi being the Haitian. Come not thou into their secret. Why we won't come to the secret? Because the, the Dominicans do the Santa Maria, the Haitians do the Voodoo. This is the prophecy right oh, in the truth. Go ahead. Instruments of cruelty are in their habitations. That's what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh my soul, come not thou into their secret. Unto their assembly, mine honor be not thou united. So that's why that, that's, that's the prophecy right here, sister. Of us not being the, you know united because the, the scripture speaks about that. This is why we're not because we don't know who we are. That's why the book of Hosea oh, four and six says, "My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge." So that. So they, what's the difference between Israel and Christian? The difference is okay. So you believe God loves everybody, right? Uh huh. Is that biblical? Uh -huh. Is that in the Bible? So what, what is it? I don't it? go by religion. I don't follow like the rules. Like when it comes to like, for example, like, female, you know, when religion is more like a bad rule. Like everything is bad rules. Like where you cannot wear pants. Female cannot wear pants. Guys cannot wear this, that, that, that. That's religion. I'm not religion. I don't go by what like, the rules you say I have to do. Like, so what, what, what's, what, what does Christian mean to you, Salak? Yeah, I, what does Christian, Christian mean to you? Christian to me is more of like following, like following God and like seeing what like what you got for me. But you believe in the scripture, right? You believe death is the scripture. I believe in the Bible. It's not the, what does the word Christian mean? Born in Christ. It means to be Christ-like. So you got to be like Christ. So for you to be Christ-like, you got to know what he follows. And when he came on the earth, what was he teaching? He was teaching the Old Testament, right? So you got to teach the Old Testament. You teach both the Old and the New, because they both one side together. But basically... So Religion or Christianity nowadays is a man-made doctrine because they don't teach, thus say the Lord according to the Bible. They don't they teach, teach what the Bible says. Who's bigger? Who's bigger? So what's up with y'all? I've been hearing y'all saying, like, you can say about the tribe, but, like, white people not, like, flat on them, something like that. So-called white people, because they're not really tribes. white. We said 12 tribes in Israel. Okay, so scripture goes dealing with nations. Scripture dealing with, we don't deal with race. We deal with nations. There's a difference. So, we have... 18 nations on earth. We're saying Israelites is speaking about, from Genesis to Revelation, it's speaking about Israelites. But it speaks about the other nations and dealing with who they are in the judgment. That's all it deals with. So you was basically asking, uh, why don't we include the white man with the 12 tribes? No, that's what I've heard. Yeah, I've heard that one time. They said that in front of one time. Okay, well, that's like if you look at what the 12 tribes would be, like the Bible says what the 12 tribes would be going through and doing in the last days, in the future. And we're now in the future because this book was written thousands of years ago. When you look at what they would be going through, the white man is not going through it. You understand that, sis? What the, what the 12 tribes would be going through, the white so man is not going like, through. Like how black people are going through slavery, white people are not really going through slavery. Exactly. Exactly. And the, exactly. We're not going through the same thing. And the Bible said that the, okay, that the Israelites would go through slavery, that the Israelites would be hating each other, that they would be at the bottom of society. You understand? And when you look at who the shoe fits, you know how they say, uh, if the shoe fits, wear it? The shoe only fits us. It only fits the... the so his, they, can not like, they can't. They cannot. They can't. They can't They're because... Different nations, let's go to the Let's break down who the white man is. We can take over the camera. Okay. Break, sure? down, break down who the white man is. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Genesis 25, 25. I'm about to show you who, who the white, because you just asked who the white man is, right? I'm saying what religion can they be, so they, if they can't be Israelite. Israelite is not a religion, it's a nationality. A nationality, if they can't be Israelite, so what, what can they be? So if one of them is one, what happens? 
Y'all can deem them? No, they can't be Israelites. But what if one of them come up to you right now and say, I'm an Israelite? Y'all gonna deem them? Not, well, no, we're not gonna go based off the way you look. We're gonna go based off your spirit and what you're going through. Because like I told you just now, that the, the Bible says that the Israelites would be going through certain things. You understand? Like, I, like slavery, right? The Haitians were enslaved by who? The French. Right? You guys were enslaved by the French, and that's how you guys had that revolution, right? Yeah. Those are white people. The French are the white people, right? Yeah. Oh, the, 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 the Dominicans were enslaved by, 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 by who? The Spanish, right? Those are white people too. Puerto Ricans were enslaved by the Spanish. So the Israelites are going through the same thing. Even though you call yourself Haitian, even though you call them Dominican, even though you call them black Americans, or, so or all we're all going through the same thing. And the Bible says that this would be going... This would be happening to the Israelites, you understand? But according to the Bible, the white man would be an Edomite. These are different nationalities. But I'm saying, mm -hmm. so you're telling me like if a white person basically then go through it, they basically cannot be They cannot be Okay, so. Through, only if they're going through what the Bible says that they would be going through. But that's basically like you said, we didn't go through it. Our parents went through it, you know what I'm saying? No, we're still going through it. We're going through, but you didn't go through it. No, we're going through it till this day, sister. Okay, that's our parents, not us. Though. No, we're going. That's our brothers. No, I'm, 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 no, that's you're like brothers and sisters. You understand? Know we're not going. Saying. We're not going through. That's like some white people say, "Hey, my people are going through it too, so I want to stand up for my people." You understand? Know because not only us going through, white people are going through it. We got it if you don't see it. It's, the, it's more of a black thing. Mm -hmm. But white people, you will be surprised how you see white people get treated. Also, we just used to seeing only black people get treated. Like that. Let, me, let me ask you a question. You wouldn't say that today. The blacks and Hispanics, they're not being uh, uh, oppressed. We're not going through oppression and persecution these days. Yeah, we are going through it, but I'm saying we're not. We, have, you ever, have you experienced it yet? Experienced what? Like slavery, going through slavery and all that stuff. Our I mean, I've been locked up. I've been locked up, so that's a form of slavery. You understand? And not only that, when you go, when what you go to the... What do you consider the... slavery? Huh? What do you consider slavery? You being locked up for what you done, what you did, and you deserve to be locked up? Or are you being locked up because they put you because they wanted to treat you? They wanted to be racist. It's two different stuff. It was because they were being racist. The okay. first time I ever got locked up, I was in the wrong place, wrong time, and because I looked a certain type of way, they treated me a certain type of way. But my point is, sis, that even today we're going through these things. Like, for instance, I work with a bunch of Haitians. We do not get paid as much as the white employees that I get think. hired. We don't get paid as much. And I guess what? Know. Another thing is, when, when we get pulled over, when a Haitian or a black person or a Hispanic person gets pulled over, the cops are quicker to shoot us and lock us up. But when you're white, you're not going through that. I understand where you're coming from. I, I'm black myself, so I'm not the type of person that will black, black, black people or whatever. Now, but we're not I'm bashing black people no, at all. No, I know you're not bashing. I'm saying okay. either white or black people, I go like they say. But I was some, like, I see how y'all come to like the white, uh, it's not it's like, you know, I wish y'all would be out there telling black people to stop killing their own fears. So we, we yeah, cannot, we that that's what we, do. We, we cannot, like, accept, like, be mad when a cop, a white cop can kill, or, like, a for example, a black guy. And then when a black guy kill a black guy, we won't see that nothing. I see, so, I agree. I totally agree with that. Like that. They it's both the have thing. to. They both have to be a problem with us. If one's gonna be a problem, the other one has to be a problem. We can't be mad about cops killing us, but then we're not mad about when we when kill our own and people. I see it a lot. On nah, social media. I, nah, I understand. But the thing is, with us, we're, we're we're upset and we're mad at both things. We don't want our people killing each other, and we also don't want want the white man killing us anymore. Yeah. They they've killed enough. The of white us. man got comfortable killing us. They see we don't. We, first of all, we don't like to see each other. Black people. Want, if you think white people are way more. Than they have what? Business-wise, because they know how to cooperate. That's not black people. We don't like to see each other. Before. We don't really know how to cooperate. We're crabs in a barrel, but at the same time, a lot of that stuff, they inherited it. You know, they, 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 their families own a bunch of slaves. And all that money has been passed down from generation to generation to their own people. But let me show you Let me show you something in the Bible. Romans uh, 9 and 13 real quick. Because you think that God loves everybody, right, sis? I'm saying, don't. do you think God don't love everybody? He, he, basically, why, why do you keep flipping it? Like I'm not flipping. Flipping. I just want to see your response. See okay. where you ask me so, to why can I do ask I, you Oh, no, 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 that's fine. Do, that's you fine. Think, do you think God loves everybody? Is it yes or no? Just see where you want me to yes say or yes no. or no. So is it a yes or no? No, I don't think he loves everybody. So you think he hates everybody? You think, you think he hates some people? He hates some people. He's talking I, about the people who don't fall on and all that stuff? Like the people who are, for example, hate <laughs> thieves and all that stuff? That's what you're talking about? Yes. That, is that what you're talking about? Not only that, but he hates certain people, certain um, nationalities, he Show hates me. them. So Romans 9. Certain, certain nationalities. Nationalities. Yeah. Romans 9 and 13. Be patient with me, sis. I hope you got a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. I was gonna get some too. Oh, okay. And, and the reason I believe this, you asked me why um, do I believe that he loves everybody, right? And I told you no. I'm gonna show you why I believe this. Romans what? Romans 9 and 13. And 13. Romans chapter 9, verse 13. Yeah, I also wanted to mention, because you said that since we weren't enslaved, it was our ancestors and stuff like that. But who benefits more off of the slavery that happened to our ancestors? All right, go ahead, go ahead. Bring that up, bring that up. This is the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 13. Mm -hmm. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Okay, so right there we see that God loves Jacob, okay. who, is the, who is the father of the 12 tribes. If you, if you read Genesis, you'll see that, right? And that he hates Esau, who is Jacob's brother, right? They came from the same mother and the same father, but they're two different nationalities. Well, how are you using the word hate? What kind of terms are you using? What does hate mean, sis? What, what terms can I, I use like with somebody, it? Right? That's how you're using it. So I'm actually, you simply say he hates different certain nationalities. So for example, you think he hates white people? So the definition of hate would be does like strongly disliked. Yeah. Yes, he does. And it, it can, I can show you in the Bible, sis. You don't want to hear what the, like, you don't want to hear? No, I'm not thinking that part. So you're telling me God hates every white people? Does God hate? You just said God... Even I, the people that follow him. Wait, hold on, sis. I can't be telling people. Hold on, sis. Hold on, sis. You just, you just said that you think God loves everybody, right? I think God loves it. Because you see... You, you think God, God loves you everybody even though I just read to you... Uh, but I'm like, actually, even the people that follow him, he hate them? The white people no, no, I never said that he hates... Look, he doesn't hate the people following him. He doesn't hate the people following him. He just say white people. No, not just white people. <laughs> not just white people. It's, it sounds like that's. What I, 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 could, I could show. I, let's let's do it one thing at a time. You said, "Does God hate?" And I told you, uh, "Yes." Right? You said, "Do I believe that He loves everybody?" I told you, "No." And I showed you why. Why would you still that? Why would you still believe that He loves everybody when I just showed you that He hated Esau? Can I know why He hated Esau? Uh, what, what scripture is that? Violence against thy brother. Yeah, exactly. Is that, is that Malachi that? 1. Huh? Start at Malachi 1. Okay. Malachi? Or you can, or you can go with Obadiah, okay? Well. Is, it, is it Obadiah? I think it's Obadiah. What Obadiah? Right? No, no, no. Obadiah 110. 110. But I violence to branch that brother. Yeah, exactly. Change exactly. our poverty. Exactly. So it starts with the, the story of Jacob and Esau. If you're aware of that story. Um, we can go into that. I mean, um... Y'all right, start at verse 8. Okay, go ahead. This is the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 8. Shall I not in that day, right, saith the Lord, even destroy the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the mount of Esau? So he's talking about Esau, right? And thy mighty men, O Taman, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the mount of Esau, every one of the mount of Esau, go ahead, may be cut off by slaughter. They're going to be cut off. Is that? This is the book of Obadiah. So it says, it says they're going to be cut off by slaughter. I'm on verse 10. For, yeah. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. So for the violence that Esau, the nation of Esau, did to the nation of Jacob, right? He's going to be ashamed and he's going to be cut off forever. So first it says that God hates him, and then it shows you why. He had violence against his brother. His brother but Jacob really loved him. I see what does that have to do with, like, nation-wise. Like, why was on, like, a different nation? That's I really don't, I really, it, it don't match up with, like, Genesis with 25. the nation. I'll show you. It just don't match Okay, so, if we look up the story of Jacob and Esau, Jacob is the father of the Israelites. Esau is the father of the so-called white race. Who? Jacob? Jacob is the father of us, the Israelites, the black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. So-called African Americans, so-called Haitians, so-called West Indians, so-called Puerto Ricans, Mexicans, so forth and so forth. Do you think you actually be saying the term God don't like people who like don't follow His word instead of saying God don't like white people okay. like other nations? Okay. You so that, that here's the, here's the here's the thing, right? If we were to tell the truth, okay, if you think the white man is following the truth according to the to the Bible, he's you're sadly mistaken. Because if we were to tell the white man that Jesus Christ is a black man, people will fight. Because we're speaking that when he follow, ask the white man when he follow a black man because the Messiah is black. None of us know what Jesus is. How do you know he's black? Yeah. The, the Bible says that. I think that would be good. You know that? Revelation 1 14 and 15. Start at verse 13. Yeah, just bring that out. 
I'm gonna show you how ESO represents so a difference. So are you guys preaching just to like preach, or are you guys trying to change, make somebody change? Their we're, we're telling I mean, repentance like, to our people. Change religion. I still don't think Christians really are religion. I don't think. I think we're not. I'm not religion. I don't feel like I'm religion. You never heard of Christianity? I heard about Christianity, but I don't think I'm religion. Okay, I understand what you're saying. Well, Christian, Christian really is just the word that means a, a follower of Christ or Christ-like. But I'm about to show you right now that uh, Esau is a nationality. He is the father of a nationality. Let's see what the Bible says, Genesis 25, when they were born, right? Because Jacob and Esau are twin brothers, right? But it lets you know that they're two separate nationalities, that they're not the same nationality, right? Go ahead. All right, this is the book of Genesis chapter 25. Verse, uh, start at 19. Mm -hmm. And these are the generations of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham begat Isaac. Mm -hmm. And Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah to wife, uh -huh. the daughter of Bethuel, the Syrian of Padan Aram, mm -hmm. the sister to Laban, the Syrian. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren, and the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebekah, his wife, conceived. And the, so Rebecca got pregnant, she conceived, right? She got pregnant by Isaac, right? Okay. And the children struggled together within her. So she has children, she has two children, she has twins in her stomach, and they're already struggling together, the Bible says, meaning they, they're already kind of fighting each other in, in, in the womb, in the stomach, which is a spiritual thing, because they would grow up to continue to fight each other, right? Go ahead. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? Uh -huh. And she went to inquire of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said unto her, uh -huh. Two nations are in thy womb. Hold up. It says, Two nations are in your womb. Not one nation. Two different nationalities are in your womb. Because if you read the book of Genesis, you'll see that uh, God created the heaven, the earth, the heaven and the earth, the animals, the different types of um, different types of animals, the different types of creatures, right? And he also created different nationalities, right? He had to. They exist today, right? So it says two, two nations are in your womb. So Esau is a different nation, and Jacob is another nation. Oh, that's why I think he hates them. He hates the nation of Esau. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says that he hates Esau and loves Jacob. And you see that they're two different nations. I don't think he nations. hates the nation of Esau. I think just because Esau was not falling based on his word and killing uh -huh. and all that stuff, I think that's what he hates. Obadiah. Was so I'm, that's what I'm trying to ask you. Like, that's the, that's the, you guys not giving me the point. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to ask, like, for example, if a white people following him, you cannot say, oh, um, God hates white people. Wait, what? I'm trying to understand that. You, I can't say God you know, hates white people. Why? No, you see how you say um, he loves certain type of nation. He don't like certain, um, other nation. So basically, I was asking you, do you think he loves white people? You say you don't think he loves white people. No, I don't. So what about the white people that follow his rules? Okay. There's probably, just, hold it on. just don't make which, no sense. Which That's I brought to your attention you about the say. point of you actually think the white man is actually following the scripture? That's it. Fake, how we how I know you following the, the right. fight. They're following white supremacy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's deal in order. <laughs> Let me finish the scripture I was just reading so we can move on to the topic you just said, right? Uh, continue what you said. Uh, <laughs> two nations are in thy womb. Two nations are in thy womb. Uh huh. And two manner of people, <laughs> two different types of people, shall be separated from thy bowels. Uh huh. The white man and the Hispanic and blacks are totally different types of people. We walk different, we talk different, we party different, right? Go ahead. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. That's what I said. And the elder <laughs> shall serve the younger. <laughs> so it says that the elder, listen, it says the elder shall serve the younger. The, the, the firstborn is going to be Esau. He has to serve the younger, right? Go ahead. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, uh -huh. behold, there were twins in her womb. Mm -hmm. And the first came out red. All over like a hairy garment. What verse is that? Verse 25. No, what Bible? Genesis chapter 25, verse 25. In the KJV, in the King James Version. So it says that the first one came out red all over, right? Okay. So it's, it's giving you a description of what he looks like when he came out. Do Haitian babies come out red? Haitian babies come out, Haitian babies come out do, for the most part. Most part they don't, but I'm they saying come out some brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Okay. Some, 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 some Hispanic babies come out red too. Like my son, he, he's, he's light skinned, right? Okay. But you, um, I mean, cause you light skinned if you think about it. Yeah, but I didn't come out red. I came out brown. It's because my wife, she is very light skinned. But um, to stick on to the topic, who, what nation of people, predominantly come out red? White people. All right. 
So Iso is the first one that comes out. He's coming out right. Finish the verse. All over like I mean, the hairy garment. Migration, so what are they considered? Jake, the seed of Jacob. Well, go ahead. And they called his name Esau. So Esau came out red all over like a hairy garment. We got a description of Esau. He comes out red, right? Go ahead, keep reading. And after that came his brother out. Uh huh. And his hand took hold on Esau's heel. Mm hmm. And his name was called Jacob. Uh huh. And Isaac was three score years old when she bare him. So Jacob comes out afterwards, right? Esau comes out first red. Jacob comes out, and they don't give a description of Jacob. Why? Because Jacob came out a normal color. They described the color that was not seen as normal. You understand? Bring that out, man. And these are two different nationalities being born. You understand? That's why we say that uh, God does not love everybody. Because if you read the Bible, if you read Malachi, if you read Romans, you'll see that God hates Esau. And other, other scriptures like Obadiah, bring out Obadiah 1 and 18 to see if he could follow uh, what the Bible says. And let's see if God is going to... Uh, uh, um, you know, have some mercy on it. It's not like we we we're not against other so versions. I used to like the example in new um NCV. NCV, I never heard of that. One. Is that NIV? No, NIV? The new century version. Oh, well, I never heard of that. One. I heard of like the NLT and exactly. stuff like that. King James we use the King James version, but you can use um other versions. Sometimes it says things more uh clear. Yeah, clear. But sometimes it com it, it creates confusion. Yeah, it takes well. some stuff out too as yeah, well. And, and some versions take out certain scriptures. That's why we use this book because it was uh, translated from the original um languages like Hebrew and Greek, because the Bible was originally written in Hebrew. So we go to the KJV. But bring out Obadiah one and eighteen. Let's see what the Bible says about what's gonna happen. Hold up, one slack real sec. Mm -hmm. So do you got to understand who Esau is, right? I got to understand. Who Okay, go ahead. Do you understand that he is a nation? He is a nationality of people. I just still don't want to say he was, because I understand. He didn't say he was white. He didn't say he was specifically black. He just said he was um, red. Right. So our white right. yeah, that's why we don't. I'm not gonna say because he could be. He could have been a little red, like red light skin. Then he could have been a red nation. He could have been a red. Right. <laughs> we don't know. We cannot. He it didn't specifically say he was white. He said that he was but red. But listen, so let, listen to me. Listen to me. Let me ask you a question. Are white people really white? Are they the color white? If I show you a blank page that is white, are the white people that same color? No, they're not. What color are they? They're white. You just said that they're not white, but they're white. So what are they? They're like pinkish, right? Some of them. A lot of them. When you put them in the sun, what color they turn? Are black or really black? No. Or brown. What no, shade of no. brown? They're brown. You're brown. So when we dig, so we... you tell me when you see a really, really Are you the same color, color as my boot? You you tell me no black other black people are not that same color. I, I have friends that like the color of your boots. Are you the same color I'm as my I'm not the boots? same color, but I'm actually. But you call yourself black. You just called yourself black earlier when we were just talking. But you're not the same color as my boot. Because so that's my nationality. That's that's black is not a nationality. It's a color. Color. Just like white isn't a nationality. It's a color. So what am I? I'm not black. So what am I? You're from the tribe of Levi, sis. That's what we're How you know I'm in the tribe of Levi? Because I heard it's 12 different tribes. There's hey, 12 yeah. different tribes. So but what tribe? Hey, Haitian they, 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 they become, they come from Esau, Edomites. It's a different nation. So they're not in no tribe. They're, they're not in the tribe of... They're their own nation. They're their own, they're their own nation. There's, na there's 18 nations in the Bible, right? We have to figure out which one we come from. So what tribe are you in? I'm from the tribe of Ephraim. Both from I come from Joseph. Wow. You ever heard of Joseph? What made you say that you because the scriptures You might have to do a 12 chapter. <laughs> I, no, I just want to know. I'm just nah, nah, like, it's fine, I, it's I just fine. Don't want nah, like, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I don't like people trying to feed in. We're not the Christian wanna... church. We don't mind questions. You understand? Some of them they hate when you ask questions. I just want to know because I don't like I don't want to be fed but like be feeding in the wrong I way. understand. I, I like respect that hundred percent. Yeah. The thing is the Bible tells you what, like I told you earlier, what the twelve tribes would be going through. It would tell it tells it tells you specifically in Genesis 49 what what they would be uh doing in the last days. Right? So we have to see which one fits us. Like the one that the brother showed you about Simeon and Levi. It says Simeon and Levi are brothers. Uh, instruments of cruelty are in their hand. And if you read the whole thing, those are the only two tribes that are mentioned together. You look at Haiti and DR, aka it was original, well, it was Hispaniola before it was Haiti and DR. The people that live there are the Haitians and the Dominicans. Was Levi the Haitians and Simeon the Dominicans, right? It says they are brethren, but um, instruments of cruelty are in their hands, right? The instruments of cruelty that they both have in their hand, it's not a sword, it's not a, it's not an arrow or something like that. It's not guns, it's uh, witchcraft. The Haitians have the voodoo, the uh, 
Dominicans have the Santeria. You Can. understand? So that that like in that chapter, you see the you see the the details of what uh, the tribes would be going through. You understand what they would be doing? And if you read about Joseph, you see that it best fits the Puerto Ricans. You understand? The Puerto Ricans and the Cubans. You understand? And that's how we know what tribe specifically you come from. You understand? So that's how we know what tribe you come from. Like you're trying to face your nationality. Being, be, being an Israelite is your nationality. And then what tribe you come from, that's the tribe you come from. But we're all one people. I know, but I'm saying your tribe is basically like, like me being a tribe. How you doing, brother? My nationality. Exactly. So what if I come up being a Bahamian from Bahamas? Bahamian, you would be from... Tribe Benjamin. The tribe of Benjamin. And I have the flag on, but I'm from, I'm from Nassau. Where is your dad? My dad is Haitian. So, so you are what your father from, is. Give me numbers 1 to 18. Where my dad is? Yep. Let's show you in the Bible. You are what your father is. That's that scripture. Uh... This is the book of Numbers, chapter 1, verse 18. Okay. And just take this. Just take this. Huh? Take this. When you get a chance, just look it up. It's, it's, it's part of your you own don't research. Have to believe us. Just research it for yourself. Believe, uh, research it upon your own hand. Thing. I'm not saying we, uh, yeah. we don't know who's It's right good to ask questions and you, you know, research it for I yourself. Just you know, know, I just want to know those. Like, I just want to know those stuff. Oh, yeah. So I'm not yeah. telling y'all y'all wrong. Like, I don't know if y'all right or I don't know if y'all wrong. Really, like, I'm not saying there's really no wrong or no right answer. Now there is a right answer. We just got to figure out what the truth is. Because it can only be one truth. There has to be truth and there has to be lies, right? That's all I'm going to say. This one, this one, can be definitely messed up. Y'all be saying, oh, these are false images. Yeah. Uh -huh. That is. But really, how y'all really got that? You can look that up. Book of Revelations. In the book of Revelations, we can show you that. Daniel. You read that? That's exactly how it's based. Not no, exactly, no, 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 no. It's a no, better no. depiction. Because they gave us a white image, so we would worship and praise okay. white people. I don't and we, praise not, but basically, them. we think of don't them as their gods, and we don't do nothing against them, but we'll be more evil towards our brothers and sisters. Yeah. I, I, I like to stick on the, the main, like, on one thing at a time, you said, how, like, you are what your father is, right? You are what your father is. Your dad is Haitian, your mom is uh, Bohemian, right? Uh, let's see uh, what determines uh, your lineage, right? Go ahead. All right, this is the book of Numbers, chapter 1, verse 18. Uh-huh. And they assembled all the congregation together. They're assembling people together, the Israelites together. Go ahead. On the first day of the second month. Uh-huh. And they declared their pedigrees after their families. Uh huh. So they declared they declared their nationality, right? Their pedigree, their family tree, right? Yeah. By the house of their fathers. By the house of their fathers. So that's that's basically all I want from there. So that's how you determine your lineage, your pedigree. You understand your family tree of who you are, what your nationality is from the house of your father. You yeah, understand? So really but even, even though, yeah, that's something taught by the white man in school. But you really are what your dad is. Like, let's say I get a seed that's a that's a sunflower seed, right? I plant one in China and I plant one in Africa. What's gonna grow? The same, it's, a, a sunflower is still gonna grow no matter where I plant it. You understand? So whatever your dad is, that's who got the seed. He plants the seed in the woman. So even though the woman may be a different nationality or whatever, you're still gonna be what your dad is. Yeah, you're, you're gonna you're gonna change in the appearance, but you still go back to uh, uh, your father and your father's forefathers and their father. Those are who you come from. You understand? And this is another example of Second uh, First Chronicles chapter 23, verse 14. It says, "Now concerning Moses, the man of God, his sons were named of the tribe of Levi." Because Moses was from the tribe of Levi, right? Now speaking about his sons, right? It says the sons of Moses were Gershon and Eliza. So right there we see that Gershon and Eliza were from the tribe of Levi. But guess what their mom was? Their mom was a Midianite. Their mom was not an Israelite. You understand? So even though their mom was an Israelite, they still were called from the tribe of Levi, meaning they're Israelites too from that tribe. You understand? But to, to go, we can go into that topic of how we know Christ looks that um, looks. More like that. No, I, I'm still stuck. I don't. Want, I don't want to be acting like make y'all feel like I'm trying to like. No, you're good. good. You're good, sis. But I'm just saying, like, the thing what I don't understand is that how y'all basically using the um, scenario of Esau, that guy, uh -huh. they say that God don't like the like the white nation. But I'm just saying, it still didn't give us like a point where hey, he was white. You know what I'm saying? It says That's he, a basic look, scenario. But the, giving, okay. Y'all using that as an example. They say God don't like the white nation. So, not, like, no, there's more to it. But you, you guys said he was red. You never said that he was, was a white. Said he was red. That's but what those other names is what they gave But y'all never said that he was white. 
though. But and listen, listen. He could have been a red Haitian. Listen, 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 <laughs> listen, listen, listen. The white man is not white. That sheet of paper you got is white. We could bring any white man from around here and put and compare him to that sheet of paper. He is not white. He is pink. All right, that's like I said. We is not brown. How is how are we not brown? You can find somebody that's dark as hell. Are they brown or are they black? Uh, you, shape, you, you just say they're, it's they're, just listen, a color, right? Listen, listen. Who who knows? They couldn't say. If you probably go to the other country, they probably gonna say, "Hey, you brown," and they probably gonna say, "I'm white." So you're telling you know me. So you're telling everybody me. You, everybody have a different. So you're color. telling me so colors change. So is the sky gonna be blue in a different country? I mean, is it gonna be considered blue? But I'm just saying, we make up word. We make up word, basically. We that make was the, up that's colors. The name that was placed on us as well. Sis, they made but I'm it. saying Sis. we make up colors. Like you might say the sky is blue, but somebody else seen the sky is yellow. Are you gonna judge that person because they see the sky is yellow? Tell them, baby. It's not a <laughs> look. It's not. It's not about that. It's not about that. The thing is, even though they say the sky is yellow, that doesn't make the sky yellow. Okay. That, even if you say the sky is blue, that doesn't make the sky is blue. Are you telling you know me the sky is I'm not giving, predominantly blue? Well, not Are we being that simple? No, you just not know <laughs> what I'm saying. See what I'm saying, if you come up to me and say, hey, the sky is blue. Wow. If I want to come up to you, to you and I'm looking at it, I'm used to saying the sky is yellow. Are you going to judge me saying that the sky is not yellow? I mean, that's I judge like, everything. No, no, no. I that's judge the like sandwich before I Bahamas. eat it. That's like me coming from the Bahamas. When I came from Bahamas, for example, when I came from the Bahamas, uh -huh. they come in the United States. Some, some of the, like the stuff, is, some of the words are completely different. The way they use their word, uh -huh. I can't argue with these people saying, "Hey, you using it in a different term or you using that." I understand you know what, what you're saying. I understand. That's what I'm trying to say. You cannot say, you, "Can you tell me the sky is yellow?" Because it's you seeing it's not yellow. How you know what I'm saying? You don't know what I'm saying. No, I understand what you're saying because you the usage yeah, of that's words. Why a lot of times we don't use by these modern terms, but we just basically go back to the scriptures and the prophecies that were supposed to happen to these people. Listen, at the end of the day, I understand what you're saying because words can be used in different ways and shapes and forms saying. in different places and stuff like that. But the thing is, when you're trying to be literal, like literally is the white man, what we call the white man, is he literally white? No, he's either pink or red as hell. You understand? I be, I used to be around white people a lot. Pink or red as hell. But you said black people are around black. 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 No, they're brown. This brother right every here is a shade brown. Every black could be a light brown. brown. Every brown, every black is brown. I don't believe that. Okay, so you don't believe. You, so you is he black? I'm not saying you cannot use it. Can, I'm saying can, like, I see other people that. When you get a chance, just Google the shade of brown. Alright, that's somebody. That's cool. That's cool. No, that's like somebody that's coming and saying every black people have brown eyes. That's not true. Though. I'm giving you an example. That's like somebody arguing with me saying yeah, that. Now, that's what why about everybody likes to base off the color because then it brings on confusion. Just like it's bringing confusion. What if I wanted to argue and be like, this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that every black people only thing is different shade. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's like, you, y'all, I'm not telling y'all y'all can't use y'all with that, but like, yeah. it's, people are going to get that right there confusing. Well, be like, oh, I see what you're saying. So, but at the same time, we can go into other things that uh, is spoken about Esau in the Bible, and you see that it fits. Guy, see guy, brown, so let me guess, what y'all don't consider that? No, we ask him what's his nationality. We don't go based off color. He's multicolored. He has multiple colors. You look at him, he has leprosy, he has white skin, I know, skin, but I'm saying, like, y'all see him, if y'all see him, for example, in the street, and he's probably, like, for example, Saying, no, just, just like when this pink, devil that was here pink. earlier, we didn't tell him that he was white. Who? We asked him what his nationality was. Who? There was a <laughs> devil that had came to us earlier. <laughs> Yeah, damn listen, devil. listen, we don't, at the Why end of the so? day, at the end of the day, sis, it's not about what you look like. Like I said, I have a son that's real light-skinned. A lot of people might tell him, like, you're not, you're not an Israelite, you're not black enough, you're not brown enough. But at the end of the day, he is what his father is, and what my forefathers are, and what, you know, my grandparents and all that. So at the end of the day, it's not, what a, it's not about what you look like, you understand? It's about, if the shoe fits, You don't think it's it. about the heart? About the heart? Yeah. What do you mean about what do you mean about that? Bring me Jeremiah 17 and 9. Cause what do you mean? I love that sounds like Christianity. Have, I love how y'all have every verse. Nah, we don't got every verse, not yet, but I love you. Well a lot of times we gotta bring out answers according to the Bible, not off of our own mind and our own opinion. What do you mean though about but the I'm heart? Saying, I don't think God goes based on color. I think he goes based on the heart. No, it's it's not based on it's color, it's based off your nationality. It's based who, off your nationality. Who you are. Um, Did God create everybody equal? Okay, at least you got that. At least you got <laughs> that. Okay, so do you still believe that God loves everybody? I still believe God loves everybody. <laughs> Even though the Bible says that God hates Esau. <laughs> Excuse me. 
<laughs> let me forget the scripture well, well, about uh, I'm just saying, I believe that God, I'm just giving you a example. People who don't follow him, that's a different, you know what I'm saying? That's a different, right. but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to categorize yeah. people like saying God don't like white people or God. Okay, like, okay, I understand I'm, that. I'm not gonna say that. But after you can't we, say that. You gotta say you don't love people that probably don't follow him. <laughs> what we'll basically you know say is, but you cannot tell somebody that God don't <laughs> love white people. Yeah, that makes no sense. No, so but I know so oh, what I was just gonna say is we'll basically say is that God loves Israel and He doesn't care about anybody else outside of the nation of Israel. Give me Isaiah. He don't care about anybody Isaiah. else. Nobody Isaiah. else outside of the nation. I said you basically tell me since I'm not an Israelite, you don't care about me. You are, well, you are Israel. Israel. Israelite. Israelite. Like, that's what not, trying to you tell might you. not know that no, you're an Israelite, like, but you are. How you? That's all right. Did all you right. go into slavery? Your people right. went to slavery, right? Uh, the Bahamians and the Haitians went to slavery. We went into the French oppression. So I have another question for y'all, but like let's. Because <laughs> no, seriously, I had an Israel guy that told me one time that oh, he believed that a man can have two wives. <laughs> is that true? We'll, 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 we'll deal with that after. What, we'll what, get to our let, first. Let, let, so let, look, sis, let's deal with one thing at a time. You're bringing certain up stuff y'all be saying. I just feel like some of them, some of them are true, or some of them. I feel like and you say you believe in the Bible, right? You believe in the Bible, right? You said that, right? Yes, okay, so we're gonna read that set of scripture. Also, I'm asking you, yes or no? You believe a guy that has two wives? We're gonna let the Bible speak it. Let everybody. Yes or no? <laughs> Look, you don't want to give me. You know why? Why you don't give me a yes or no question? Do you believe a guy got two wives? Uh, we we speak dust after scripture. We can't no, give our own mouth. Look, sis. Look, I'm not trying to talk. It's a, sis. Sis, look. This is the problem. <laughs> You keep bringing up a bunch of different. You said it's about the heart, bringing, I'm not and then we're gonna go to that scripture, and then you're saying. I just want to know certain questions where I really wanted to ask somebody. Yeah. Like, you know, so I just talked to a guy that was Israel, like, uh -huh. and I'm not going to lie, we didn't last before since I was Christian. He was Israel, right? And when he trying to argue with me and get serious stuff, you, you cannot force me to believe. That's how, of if course, I come up to y'all, I can't force y'all to believe what I want y'all to believe. Upon your research and what you find, that's it. Huh? It's upon your research. You, you, you exactly. don't, don't listen to us. It's upon your research. You go, We're just going to tell you know and do what you got to do. Know. Okay, so I'm going back to the main, the main thing we was talking about before we went off yeah, to the other thing. You, even though we showed you that God hates Esau, you still going to say that God loves everybody? I just want all yes or no. All right, how about you put it like God don't love the people that probably don't follow him. That's not what that Bible. That's not what it says. That's not what the. That's I not. I just don't want to say that. That's not what that scripture says, says though. <laughs> now nah, I'm not saying bro, What if somebody's a pop in my mind? What if somebody really in love with God and that's who they really follow? Uh -huh. him, and then I walk around <laughs> saying God don't love the people white. How that sound? Hold on, hold on, nah, sis. Nah, hold on, sis. If they wanted to pop me in my mind, they have a reason to pop me in my mind. Hold on, sis. Okay, so we won't say deliberately, um, white people. Because we, like we don't believe, we don't, honest. first of all, that's what it does sound like. I understand what it's white, like, yeah, white and black, like we don't deal, deal, deal with those color. terms. Oh, well, we deal with those terms because our people don't, that's the only thing they understand. That's how, no, I understand where you come from, but the way y'all saying it, I guess you guys need a miswording it, but it sounds like basically saying y'all, basically walking around telling white people, you y'all not accepted because y'all white. That's how it sounds to me. Yeah, no, let me ask you, I'm trying to get the answer to your question. I mean, the answer to my question. Um... Say, do God love everybody? Does God hate Esau? He said everybody. So does God love everybody? People who don't follow him, God don't love <laughs> Let, let it be yes, upon her own that's research, fine, that's, fine, that's fine, that's fine. Let's go to our uh, second question, then. Um, let's go to, um, real, real quick, to show you that everybody else does not Yeah, um, no, I feel like y'all, um, I'm not saying y'all forced me, but I feel like the answer y'all trying to find me, y'all trying to make me say that God don't love like <laughs> No, no, this is the thing, this is the thing. I, I'm, try, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to make it as simple. I'm, so, nah. I'm trying to make it simple. Yes no, go ahead, go ahead, or no. Go yes or no, yes. That's what I was just trying to make it simple. I like fine. y'all want to tell you. No, the people who don't. I'm not, no, I don't think, I think God loves all his people. See, that's all, people all his people. Yeah, exactly. All his people. What do I say, boy? You just said I don't follow. Listen up, let's do it. Order, order, order. That's it, the scripture, that's it. That's like you saying, for example, I'm giving you a good example. That's like you saying, for example, you have a family, right? And you have a black family, you have a white family. When it comes to the Bible, yes, we gotta go with what the Bible says. No, it's not about who's giving me more money, who's not. No, I'm just, it's, I know it's not about that, but I'm giving you an example. 
if you tell me a white guy serving God the same way you're Israel like they, a white guy walking around telling people about the Israel and all that stuff because he's saying he's Psalms not, he's can not, he's not, he's not God, God. Real quick. I would just say how is he serving God though is he serving God according to the Bible that's why that's, 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 that's the exact same thing y'all doing he can't he can't do it he can't it's not in his spirit to be able to do it you can't do it correctly he can't do it order 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 Order, 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 brothers. He said Obadiah King. Get Obadiah, man. man <laughs> we respect each other. Like, we say just, kings and, you know. Like, I just feel like y'all can't. I just feel like y'all miss words. Y'all can't say God don't like white people. <laughs> God, I've no, like that's what everybody got stuck in their head because we've been indoctrinated through slavery. And we've been taught, oh, we got to love everybody. We got to love everybody. I'm not saying for you to love everybody. But I'm saying you no, but you're, use That's the white word people. You're not saying nothing about Chinese. You're not saying nothing about <laughs> Arabs. You don't think God loves Chinese people? <laughs> Let's see what the Bible says. Let's see what the Bible says. Cool, cool. Order, order, King. Order, order. Really, really. Uh, where are you? Obadiah? Yeah. Obadiah 1 and 18. <laughs> this is the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 18. Uh huh. Check this out, sis. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. Jacob again. Fire. And the house of Joseph a flame. Joseph comes from Jacob. And the house of Esau for stubble. So it says that they're going to be a fire and a flame, but Esau's going to be stubble. When you put fire. With stubble, the stubble is burnt, right? Go ahead. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. Uh-huh. Somebody's there, gonna be devoured. Go ahead. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. So it says right there that there's not gonna be any remaining of the house of Esau. So first the Bible says that God hates Esau and loves Jacob, right? And then it says that uh Esau and Jacob are two different nations of people, right? Two nations are in that womb. And then right here in Obadiah, you see that it says that uh, none are going to be, uh, what does it say? Uh, none are going to be, none shall be, there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. There's not going to be any remaining of the house of Esau. So how, how, how does God love everybody when he says that he hates these people and that they're going to be destroyed until none of them exist? Okay, I understand where y'all coming from, but I'm, I'm saying y'all still using, it's still not showing, y'all still not basically showing me where to say that he's he the white. He's the white. Oh, we showed you. Y'all say he's red because okay. y'all see, only because y'all say black, white, most of white people is red. That's why I'm true. basically y'all assuming that, okay. y'all assuming he's red, but y'all can't say the Bible. How are we assuming he's red? I mean, y'all assuming red. that he's white because most of the white people, um, all white people, white people, are, white people are, are red. All white people are pink. But I'm saying, why, can really he, why can he be a red Haitian? <laughs> I'm just, You're just stuck on the color thing. Huh? That's the, the color thing is going to be the stumbling block. No, no that's how y'all say it. That's why I'm okay. giving y'all my feedback. So let's get the understanding. I'm, I'm, I understand what I'm saying. But I'm giving y'all basically the way y'all are telling me. That's how I'm going to give y'all my feedback. You know what I'm saying? Don't use the term. Don't, talk, don't use the term white. white. Yes, they say red man. Yeah, say yeah. Esau, man. Uh, let's read. Um, let me see where it says he exalted himself as an I'm just, I just feel like y'all been saying Esau is white. That's how I feel like y'all saying. That's why we say so called white man. We don't say white man. Go ahead. We're going to start from the beginning of the chapter. He's not white. Because this whole chapter goes against him. Yeah, Esau's not even white. You understand? The white man is not even white. But let's, let's see what it talks about. The white man is red. If you really, if you be analytical, he is pink. And pink is a derivative of red. Right. That's why y'all saying that. That's why y'all saying that. That's one of that's one of the things that lets you know. Yeah, that's one of the characteristics that lets you know what Esau looks like. Now it also lets you know about his spirit and how he is, right? Uh, let's see Obadiah one. This is the book of Obadiah, starting at verse one. The vision of Obadiah, thus saith the Lord, concerning Edom. So this is uh this is a vision that's concerning Edom. Edom is Esau. Esau's name was changed into Edom when you read the book of Genesis. Go ahead. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador sent among the heathen, Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Uh -huh. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen, uh -huh. thou art greatly despised. So Esau is going to be greatly despised. Edom is going to be greatly despised. A lot of people will hate the white man, right? Bring it up right again. Oh, uh, Salak, uh, Salak, <laughs> the red man, oh, 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 the Caucasian man. A lot of people hate these people, right? <laughs> Does 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 like let's let's use uh overseas uh Kim Jong Un. You ever heard of Kim Jong Un? Does he love? You think, do you think he hates? Do you think he hates the Caucasians? I don't know what he hates. I don't know what. Okay, the Iran, mm -hmm. uh, the people in Iran, the people mind. in Iran saying death to America. Do 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 they love the um Caucasians? I'm not. I don't know. All right, go ahead. He's greatly despised, right? So a lot of people I have hate. A question. Him. Why why did you think he hates so? Okay. Because it says it. 
The Bible says that Esau would be hated, greatly because despised. Of what? Because of what? Of his nationality? No, because no, no, of the things that he's deep, done on the earth. It's deeper than that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Like, a, like killing wise. Um, killing, everything. robbing. Okay, now y'all starting to make sense. It's multiple things. It's multiple things. Go okay, ahead. but I'm saying now y'all starting to make sense. So, like, he, he, he can hate black people too if black people doing killing wise. Not oh, yeah, because the Bible says even two thirds of his own people are going to get The majority of people are going to die. Oh, okay, okay. So, I'm saying all every white people are going to get. I mean, not every record is gonna get destroyed, even if they're doing good. The, it's, it just told you right here that <laughs> every single the house of Esau is um, none are gonna be remaining in the house. Of even Esau. the people who's doing good, it says get, none get, are gonna be it, remaining in the house yes, of Esau. Can. Hold on, let's. You disagree with the Bible? Are some gonna be remaining of the house of Esau if they keep the commandments, even though the Bible says that none are gonna be remaining? Or New Testament? Right That's now the Old we're Testament. in the Old Testament. You guys are in the Old Testament? Yes. Right now we're in the Old Testament, but we was going back We, we can show you the New Testament too. Wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah, Let's keep reading. I believe in the Old Testament, when but we first I believe said Jesus died on the cross for our sin just to like fuck. Because if, if he didn't die, we all wouldn't be here. Yes or no? He died for our sins. So I'm just giving yeah, you an example of like yeah. the New Testament is completely different from the Old Testament. The Old no, Testament they both coincide together. Let's finish up. Let's, let's, let's try to stick to the point. Keep going. And it says the pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. Uh, the pride look, it says the pride of thine uh, heart hath deceived thee. You understand that? It says, it says the pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. It's talking about Esau, right? It says the pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. Who is more prideful than the white man? I mean Salah. Who, <laughs> who is more prideful? That's a bad habit. Who is more prideful than the Caucasian man? No, who is more who is more who is more prideful than the Caucasian man? He says, this is America, speak English. Go back to your country. Right. Even though I brought your ass here on slave ships a couple hundred Bring years ago. Bring it out, ago. man. Who is more prideful than the white man? Who says, oh, America's the greatest country, in, um, you know, on the planet? Donald Trump. Okay, a Caucasian man, continue. He's, it says, the, the pride of thine heart have deceived thee. So he is deceived by his own pride. Go ahead. Though thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks. Uh-huh, he dwells in the clefts of the rocks. The high whose, places. Whose habitation is high. Mm -hmm. That saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? So he says in his mind, in his heart, who's going to bring me down? America is the most powerful, um, you know, nation ever. Who's going to bring me down? You understand? So when you get into the actual spirit that um, the, um, the Edomite, the, the, the descendant of Esau would have, it fits a particular person, right? Go ahead. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. It says he exalts himself as the eagle. Now what is the symbol of America? Symbol of America? Yeah, like when is, what's one of the mascots of America that everybody knows? It's an eagle, right? You see it on your quarters, you know what I'm saying? The bald eagle, you know? And if you deal with Rome, which we know those were Caucasian too, Romans and Greeks, those were um, Caucasians, right? Alexander the Great, Alexander the Greek, okay. he was uh, a Caucasian man. If you look at the Greek and the Roman uh, symbols, like what they used to represent themselves, was also an eagle. You understand? Go ahead. And though thou set thy nest among the stars. He's setting his nest among the stars. If you look at what Trump is doing now, he's trying to make a, a, a space force. Okay, yeah, I agree with that. You understand? A lot of these things fit him. You don't think most of your peers um, um, voted for him too? Uh, most, we're not denying that. Most? <laughs> because they're foolish. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. The Most High is going to bring Esau down. But yeah, long story short, there's a lot of um, descriptions of who we call Esau. Um, How you Edom. doing, brother? Beautiful kid, brother. sir. Um, you get, you, you know, the Bible describes of how Esau would be. You understand? And this, these uh, characteristics fit the Caucasian man. You understand? That is, it's not only about him being red. It's about him exalting himself as the eagle. Him being very prideful. You understand? Um, him being greatly despised. You understand? He has a godlike complex. He's like, who will bring me down? You understand? So that those are uh, characteristics that Esau has and Edom has. And the only person, well, the only people that predominantly have them characteristics are the Caucasian men today. You understand? And it says, for thy, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, um, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. And if Jacob is the, what we know, Jacob is the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Esau, if we say Esau is the white man or the Caucasian man, 
Did he do violence against his brother Jacob? Did he do violence against the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Did he enslave us? Did he rape our women? Did he did he did he use the babies as um, gator bait? Did he dash babies against stones and cut um, pregnant women open and hang black people on trees and Mexican people on trees? He did do that. And because he did that, shame is gonna cover him and he's gonna be cut off forever. He has to pay for the sins of his forefathers, the sins of his ancestors. That's why we believe in what we believe, because it's in the Bible. We got to put our feelings aside, because I used to be Christian too. You understand? Now I'm right, a real right. Christian, because Christian means follower of Christ, or Christ-like. I follow Christ. So you're saying, I'm a fake Christian. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm not, not trying to come trying at to you, say that, no, we just I'm not follow coming it. at you, okay, to be too. honest. I'm saying, no, I'm not. Like, no. I'm not a person like those Christians who go big up in the head, like thinking that, oh, somebody said, you have to go fight or argue. I'm not here to argue. We all trying to learn everything. It's okay to argue as long as we, you know, we get you somewhere. Yeah. Well, the Bible says the, the Bible says the the, the the bait thy cause with thy neighbor. The bait is a form of argument. You know what I'm saying? So it's okay for us to, like, say, say you think uh, a woman isn't supposed to wear pants, right? But I read the scripture and I study, and I'm like, wait a minute, this is not saying that women can't wear pants. It's okay for us to debate that cause and get to the bottom of it and see what the truth so is. Every single thing. Yeah, to the best, best of our ability. ability. The best of our ability. Yeah, sometimes you guys do still fail because you guys yeah, are still human. Yeah, because it says a wise man falls seven times. Okay, but he gets yeah, right we back fail, up. but the thing correct. is about getting back up and making sure that you correct yourself and don't do I that. Agree. You understand? And that's the problem with our people. They don't want to correct themselves because they don't want to be corrected. They just want to keep doing what they're doing. They don't want to be taught. They don't want to be taught what they're doing. They don't want to be taught what they're doing. They don't want to be taught what they're doing. They don't want to be told that what they're doing is wrong. They don't want to be told that homosexuality is wrong and that they shouldn't do it, even though it's in the Bible. You understand? I understand they don't want to be correct. Forward, but I heard, I'm not sure if y'all was there that day, but I was right there, like sitting right in, in a bus stop when you guys were preaching. And the way I was saying, like, oh, how, like, if you steal, if you homosexual did that, you should die and go somewhere. I don't know. But it was pretty crucial, like, the way, like, yeah. Well, that's because we was reading it according to the scriptures. <laughs> It was probably us. Are you sure it was us, though? Huh? It sure was, was us? You guys, it, it's, I'm pretty sure, I'm not saying everything like right, but all you guys... Was it in this spot? White thing, no, not was white. Right we wasn't dressing in white, no. Oh, that had to be a different group. But I see DJC. But I'm saying, is it I the same thing? Is it you guys are in the same, like, group, basically? Like, it's, almost, the same look, it's almost the same thing, but we, we have different... Oh, you guys are different. We have differences. Like, some people may teach, oh, you can't wear pants. And then some of us may be like, that's not what the Bible says. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we all teach who the Israelites are for, for the most part, and we teach that you gotta keep the laws that are in the old Testament. Basically, some are deeper. Basically, some are deeper than others. So yeah, some are deeper than others. They have some of them have different understanding. Yeah, so understand? some of us will go into a language, some of us just it's described to what the English just says. And I'm really going into deeper studies like but the But we're not a religion, sis. We're just trying to I'm teach our people. Either. We're just yeah. trying to teach our people who they are. And I'm, according to I'm the Bible, pushing, I don't feel like I'm pushing the religion. I'm not religious. Yeah, God's chosen yeah. people are the truth Which means. Hey, I got a question for you. Yeah. Chapter one, verse three. Read. The ox knoweth his owner. So listen up. An ox, an animal, knows who his owner is. Read. And the ass, his master's crib. If a dumb ass gets lost, he knows how to get back home. That's what that's saying. You heard that, brother? An ox know with his owner, and an ass, his master's crib. Read. But Israel. But who? But Israel. You so called blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, man. Read. But Israel doeth not 